from the depth instant tutorial you're watching instant tutorials and today we're going to build a steam boat if you missed that check out my regular steam engine tutorial in instant tutorials to get you catched up on well steam engines in general let's begin we're going to go and select a new blueprint and just uh, lend some of this beautiful cargo hull very nice make sure to align it in the right direction we're going to start with building the engine so let's go down to steam engines and for this we're going to make a small engine because it will be more than enough so take a gearbox and face it backwards to where you want your propeller uh, we are going to make this uh, the main propulsion but of course you can use steam propellers with dedicated engines for turning or anything really they're very powerful and then we're going to add two crankshafts we're going to add two small pistons and then we're going to add some type of boiler we don't know how large boiler we will have but we will begin with making a decently sized boiler and then we'll just connect up our pistons like that. Right, so now we can start adding shafts. So we'll just add a couple of shafts like that. Of course, we have our engine a little bit too far away, but that's all fine. Um, we need something that's called a small transmission. This transmission will help us be able to turn on and off um, the propeller when we want it. And it also helps us uh, selecting a gear ratio that we will decide a little bit later now we don't want our propeller sticking out like that we want it a little bit lower down so we're going to go in here and select the small axis shifting gears the suction cap will decide where it goes on the transmission or the shaft and it goes down like that now we can select the small two meter sealed shaft so we'll place it like that and it will let us close off this area with a little normal block like that and we can close it off like that and it should be waterproof great because that means we can add a air pump and um, this little uh, two meter shaft it goes through one block and the smart thing with that is that we can place our one meter propeller right on top of here we go into it and make sure it's a pusher preset. To make the pusher preset work with the AI and everything, you need an AI and should probably have a rudder and stuff like that. We're only testing, however, so I will select this to be a resting drive one. But we're going to do that a little later. First, I'm going to show you something else. Here we have a small crankshaft motor. The small crankshaft motor lets you convert engine power to use with a small shaft which you can put a propeller on and then you can actually just use engine power to well utilize this steam propellers this is much less efficient however than connecting it up with uh, you know shafts and stuff and much less cool so we won't bother with that at all now this is a steam engine it doesn't work at all and that's because we don't have any resources uh, you can use any like container you can even even use an ammo box but since this is a steam engine we're going to use uh, coal piles because that looks cool and the engine starts and you can see the shaft rotates and the gearbox and stuff like that and this does nothing so we'll go in here and select a resting drive one and now we can see it spins up very beautiful everything is moving and I mean, that's the basics um, of setting this up. So we'll just plop it down here and see what it does. We can see that we reach a speed of 12 meters per second. If we go into this thing, we can see that it's using the maximum thrust already. Very nice. Um, so we go into the small transmission and we can now increase this gear ratio until maximum or another value that it no longer uses the max thrust and you can see it still uses the maximum thrust but it's a lot higher 
And the higher you have this gear ratio, um, the longer it can take your boat to actually get up to speed. Now you can see that we're actually moving at all, you know, almost 17 kind of meters per second. It's a little unvaried. But um, what we can do to utilize even more of the power however, is removing this small propeller and selecting a larger propeller. And now you can see we're suddenly moving at 40 meters per second. Isn't that nice? If we go into it, you can see that the thrust seems to a little bit hard to get up to speed, so we can probably decrease the gear ratio. And now we can see it starts flying. Well, that's not very great. One thing we can do to make it stop flying is to go here. Applied force height offset. So if you have it lower down, then you will probably flip even faster. But if you have it higher up, it might make you flip a little bit less often by applying the force higher up. So it's actually an offset that uh, simulates that the power gets pushed on at a, you know, another place than where the propeller actually is. So if we move it towards here, we can see a little bit where the optimal value can be. Now it starts flying again, so that's bad. Something like that maybe, who knows. The propeller is much more efficient if it's deeper down into the water. So this is a very small light boat and it will usually skip. Uh, but you can mount it even further down and if you're having large ship, it's uh, important they're submerged all the time. But if you're having large ship, you probably won't reach these speeds as easily. We're almost like 50 meters per second, which is cool. But now you may wonder, aren't we using a lot of materials per second? Yes, we're using all of that material per second, which is 3.75. So it can be a little bit expensive to run. To make it less expensive to run, we can connect up one of the cylinders like this, like we went through in our a more thorough steam tutorial. We have an instant tutorial for that. So we can kind of reuse that. And there we go. Very nice. Takes a little longer to get up to speed. But you can see the pressure is increasing here. And that means that when the pressure is 10, very nice, we will not use all of that materials per second anymore. Now we can see it only uses three so that's a bonus and we're still almost moving at the same speeds which is nice if you're having a lot of junk that's uh, using up your power let me demonstrate like an ECM jammer that casually uses 20,000 power you can see how sad this engine is it's moving so slow because it's trying to push all that power and the propeller doesn't spin as fast anymore and we're just slowing down. Well, go into the gearbox and limit the maximum power creation to something... Um, well, preferably something that you can make all the other systems run still. But you can completely remove this to make the steam engine only power the propeller. That's fine too. But of course now the jammer doesn't work. Well, I guess that is the ins and out of um, how to make a steamboat, quite simply. But um, refer to my other tutorials um, if you are missing something here, and also the other steam tutorial, because, well, we are trying to be efficient at least. Thanks a lot for watching Jim Adesim's instant tutorial in From the Depth, and you should definitely subscribe for more, and, well, Stay tuned and I'll see you in future Insta Tutorial. Check the playlist and uh, have fun. See you around.